Good morning, students. <coughs> Today's poem is Thomas Campbell, T H O M A S, Thomas Campbell, C A M P B E L L, Thomas Campbell's Lord Allen's daughter. Lord Allen's daughter. This poem is given for you in CBSC class 9. Poetry section to read and understand the feeling of the lovers, the beloved one. So, this discussion, what we are going to do today on uh, this poem, will help you understand the gist of the poem very easily and in interesting way. This is Pranesh Kumar Misra before you. Let's start understanding the gist and the thought lies in the poem. I stand here before you to support the motion. Love is blind and is accompanied by madness. Every one of us know that love is blind and it is accompanied with together with madness it knows no boundness and restrictions. The more restrictions are there on love, the more it grows. True lovers don't bother about social status, norms, customs. Come what may, chahe jo, come what may, they want to unite. They want to be one. Lord Alin's daughter was passionately in love with the chieftain of Alwa Island. Alwa Island. He also loved her deeply. Afraid of her father's opposition and anger, she, Lord Alin's daughter, eloped. To run away with beloved is the term elope. eloped with her lover. She was very much right in doing so if we say her love was okay. She had no other option to make her dreams come true. In this way, she eloped with the lover. That was a right step. Had the sea not been stormy, she would have been successful in ferrying across, boating across the sea. But the poetry has melancholic tone, a tone of repentance, a tone of sadness. If I say the thought in against, then I can say or we can say that it is true that love is blind. Being blind in love, lovers don't realize the consequences, result of their decisions. The decision they make, their decision making process is measured or not they think the further steps or not. Lord Alin's daughter and her lover knew that they would not be successful. Yet they eloped. It was not right in the part of Lord Alin's daughter to defy her father and elope with her lover. One of the thought is when they realized already that they won't be in united, then the step to elope from the house could be considered not good here. She must have thought about the status and honor of her family. She must have opted to persuade her father to favor her love another way. She must have kept patience and waited for the right time 
to come. How can a child be so selfish to leave the parents in despair for the sake of just two days love? So friends, I have given you two thoughts, one in yes and another in no. So what is your feeling you have to share when you will be asked? Next discussion is on the gist of the poem I have selected here. Let us talk what is the poem about, what happens in the poem. Lord Allen's daughter's decision changes the life of many persons. Her life, her father's life, and her beloved's life. What happened in the poem? A Scottish chieftain and his beloved were fleeing. They had to elope from her wrathful father, anger father. As they reached the shores, while running away, they reached a seashore. The chieftain told a boatman who was available there to ferry them, to carry them, to ferry them across Logai, one of the places. He asked him to do it quickly, quickly because if Lord Alin's men who were galloping, coming with the help of the horse, on the horse, found them, they would kill him. The boatman, when the boatman observed the innocent face of that lady, boatman promised to take them not for the money that the chieftain offered for carrying them that side, not for silver pound he offered, but for his beloved. By this time the storm had grown, urged the boatman to make haste, as he did not want to face an angry father, she was requesting again and again, persuading the boatman to hurry up, to make haste. Further in the line, the boat left, the boat left the shore, the stormy land, and as it got caught in the stormy sea, stormy sea, Lord Alin reached there and Lord Alin with his men observed the situation and at last Lord Alin repents upon his decision. His anger changes to valley, mind the feeling. His anger, his wrath, Chains to wailing, oh my daughter, oh my daughter, from this feeling, hey my daughter, from this feeling, oh my daughter, to this feeling, change into wailing when he saw his daughter caught into the mighty storm with her lover. He could guess that they won't leave perhaps. He asked her to return to the shore. He shouts aloud. He asked her to return to the shore, but it was in vain by that time. It was useless. I the stormy sea claimed his daughter and her lover. The storm engulfed them, devoured them. Thus ends the gist of the poem. The end is tragic, which gives us moral that if you had to make decision 
then it is not the time to be taken long. Think about the possibilities. Take your decision at the right moment quickly. Decision making was there for the daughter also and the father also what to take the decision. Let us enjoy some direct text also from the poem. The starting lines goes like A chieftain to the highlands bound cries Boatman, don't tarry, tarry air wind Wait, W-A-I-T, wait Rukumat, don't tarry And I'll give thee a silver pound Greet, silver pound to row us over the ferry. This is a beautiful poem about a chieftain and his beloved. His beloved is the daughter of Lord Alin. Both the lovers fled from their houses. They reached at the shore and asked that boatman to carry them in his boat. Now, who be ye? Ye here, why ye? You, tum. Ye means tum. Wood cross, Loch Jail, the name of the place. This dark and stormy weather, oh, I am the chief of Alva's Isle, means Isle, Island. And this is introducing them to Portman. And this Lord Alin's daughter. They are from the chief and main family of Scotland, Alva Island. The boatman asked them who they were and then he, the beloved of Lord Alin's daughter, introduces them. Three days we have fled together, how long they are suffering. Three days we have fled together for... Should he find us in the glen, my blood would stain in hither, hither grass. The chieftain said that he had fled with his beloved and if the Lord Alin, if the Lord would catch them, he would kill him. His horsemen hard behind us right, they are coming. Should they our steps discover if here should is if they will discover where they are, then who will cheer my pony bright? Means who will take care, who will make this lady happy when they have slain her lover? Out a spoke means a spoke out. Out a spoke. The hardy highland white, here W I G S T white means creature, prani, white. Out spoke the hardy highland white, I will go, my chief, I am ready. I will go, my chief, I am ready. It is not for your silver bright, but for your winsome lady, your pleasing lady, your good looking lady. I will take the risk, boatman agrees. I will take the risk, my lord, not for the money, but for your lady. And by my word, the bony bird, means by the promise, in danger shall not tarry. So, though the waves are raising white, very dangerous, making Home. I will row you over the ferry. Ferry here, you will say now, us ghat par utarna, us ghat par pohunchana. By this the storm grew loud, a pace, a pace is quickly, quickly, yes, they entered into the water, the water took satanic form. By this the storm grew loud, apesh, the water, wrath was sacking, and in the skull of heaven each fish grew dark as they were speaking. 
just like the death has taken watery shape. So dangerous was the look. At that time when they were talking, the sea was turning furious. Darkness was spread all over and water was making very violent noise. Next. But still as winter blew the wind and as the night grew dearer, a town and glen road armed men, their trampling sounds nearer. So the galloping sound of the horses are coming means the father of her is approaching near and they are very fearful. They want to leave the flesh immediately. Oh, hast the hast, the lady cries, do it fast, boatman. My father would be reaching, please. The tempest round us gather. Tempest has gathered us, but please proceed, please proceed. Don't wait here at the shore. I will meet the raising of the sky. I can see, I can meet with the wrath of the sky. I have that courage, but not an angry father. She is not ready to face the anger, the wrath of her father, but she is ready to take challenges and risk of the weather. The boat has left a stormy land, a stormy sea before her, when oh, too strong the human hand storm out of control. That human hand cannot control the boat Boat is just like a toy when there is a heavy storm. The tempest gathered over her. Oh. The tempest gathered, hovered over her, and still they roared amidst the roar, struggling with the roar of the sound of the water. Of water fast prevailing, Lord Alin reached that fatal shore. Mrityu Ghatak, fatal shore, where daughter is going to perish. Father reaches there and realizes. His wrath was changed to wailing, as I told earlier. Anger changed into mourning, we love. His wrath was changed to wailing, for sure dismayed. Threw a storm and said, his child, he did discover, oh, that my child, one lovely hand, she stressed for aid to help, and one was round her lover, she wanted to shave themselves also, but was not ready to leave the lover, see the situation, my dear students. So love is spread it or split into two things, love for life and love for lover. And one was round her lover, I repeat, come back, come back, he cried in grief. Come back, come back, he cried in grief, who? Oh, Lord Alin. Across the stormy water and I will forgive you, your highland chief. Now, Alim is saying that I will forgive your beloved, please you to come back. My daughter, oh my daughter, the love or the daughter surges up in the heart of the father and now he knew no bound, the love knew no bound. Anyhow, he want his daughter back on any condition now. It was when, when here, in when. It was in vain, the loud waves lashes the shore, returned or age, preventing the water wild went over his child, the water wild went over his child, and he was left lamenting, and he was left lamenting, there was nothing. 
was the poem I had the tragic ending, but very beautiful poem this is. Repeat the text two three times to have the full command and understand.